Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing Total War Three Kingdoms. This is the first time I've covered this one in absolutely forever. In fact, the last time I played Total War Three Kingdoms was before the Eight Princes DLC came out. So I'm probably going to be super rusty at this, which kind of leads me to believe that maybe I'm not the right person to save this disaster battle, but let's just see if I can do it anyway. If anything, these difficult battles are a good way to relearn how to play the game. So we've got an email here from the guy who he explains what he did about it and that'll give us some context on what we should do so he says i am playing a campaign as kong as gongsun zan and i advanced to attack zheng yang i can't pronounce this these names i'm just going to call her jenny that's what i used to call her i'm just going to call her jenny um i already beat two armies and took two settlements so i thought i wouldn't find much resistance but ended up biting off more than i can chew i tried to use the lords to break apart defenses and then follow up with cavalry from multiple entries to split up them up and then march in infantry to secure positions but their archers and towers has ripped my forces before i can uh, knock them out okay i'm assuming he meant he sent in his characters to go and knock out their lords that's what I would normally do in this situation. That's what I would do in pretty much any battle in this game previously when I actually did play it. Especially if I had dueling lords, which all... Uh, I know these two guys are definitely dueling lords. If they go out and take out the lords, it makes the other fighters the fight like crap. It's easy to rout them. Uh, and usually the, the rest of the units just can't pin you down. They don't shoot at you, so it's usually fairly easy in that regard. Um, I'm assuming that's what he meant, but it's not necessarily what he meant, because he says he used the laws to break apart defenses. What that means, I'm not sure. So let's jump in here and see how we go. Alright. Cut out the loading screen victory. there, because I don't have this installed on my SSD, simply because I've reinstalled most of the historical Total War games, due to opening things back up. Um, and I simply don't have enough space to have all Total War games installed on my SSD simultaneously. And anyway, I can cut out the load screens. That's the main reason for um, putting in on an SSD. Okay. So, they're all on horseback. Yep. Let me just see. What if... What if we came in through here? If, can they... They're hidden. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so what I'm trying to do here is just... Use some of my Warhammer techniques, I guess. We want them to face us all around here, but I want these guys to come in this way, basically unopposed. So I've got them hidden at the start, so they just don't have any units um, like set up there. Make haste. Plus, the towers should give us some coverage while shooting. Uh, so while they're shooting, that is. Let's try to get in. Now, if memory serves me correctly, this guy is an amazing duelist. Oh, that sounded like, um, Nastra. I don't think capping this point is going to make any difference, but... I don't know. Because, yeah, these towers don't fire backwards. Do you fear death? There is nothing left for you but death. Right. Now, he said that the archers were tearing them to pieces, so we should definitely take them out because they're not going to engage with us. And as long as we don't fight any other melee units, there should just be easy way to, to soften up the defenders. See here, the balance of power is pretty evenly matched. Hmm. It is on very hard battle difficulty, so they're going to have stat bonuses on top of that. So, But what we want to do is, before we begin the main assault, is make sure that we've evened the odds as much as possible. Now, I know Jenny's a really good fighter. But that doesn't mean we can't soften up the enemies over here for free. One of the problems that we might face doing this... Oh, yeah, I should have a look at our abilities. Is, um... Make, make uh, What's it called? Be mindful of our... Fatigue. Okay, that's shattered. Leave him, leave him be. Let's recover a little bit of fatigue. There's no supply points like in Warhammer 3, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, I can see where two of them are over here. Let's have a look at our abilities. So this one here has got Roar of the Beast. Okay, so that one reduces morale. This one... Oh, they're actually shooting at us. Okay. 
Is there like a capping point that we can take to just win the battle? Or not? Yes, there is. It's over here. It's not well defended. And that'd be pretty funny if we just like <laughs> just just cap the town square and then that's it. Yeah, fight their cavalry, because they're gonna be a problem for our regular troops when we send them in. Because we're not gonna be able to win this battle with just our three heroes. Lords, legendary lords, whatever they're called. Do I have the blood pack? Yeah, I've got the blood pack. <laughs> I don't even know what DLC I've got. Alright, this guy is taking a bit of damage. I, I don't think this guy is the strongest fighter. I think that's just a generic... Actually, I have no idea. I know this guy is really strong. Yeah, just keep running them. How are we going for fatigue? Active, active, active. We're okay. And yeah, they're pulling their forces back a little bit. That's good. We could probably get our cavalry in through here, but let's not worry about that right now. Why don't we... Why don't we get some control groups going, maybe? You lack the strength to defeat me! You dare to speak to me? Okay, that unit's shattered. Okay, let's... This, this point here has been capped. Because, yeah, if we can run around and get in without the towers shooting us... If I recall correctly, the towers are pretty damn devastating on your regular units. Alright, let's bring these guys over to here, but don't bring them in the settlement just yet. If I bring them that way, they're gonna get shot by towers. So what I'm trying to do here is cap a whole bunch of towers to try to separate... Okay, okay, let's go after... Hang on, maybe you should recover fatigue a little bit, because we can see that we're a little bit tired. Now, how do we duel? Not that I want to duel, I just can't remember how to duel. You like, there's like a button or something that shows up. If you select one, and then... Nah, I, don't, I just don't remember. Oh, there it is, there it is, it's right there. Right. Yeah, I definitely don't want to duel Jenny. Pretty sure that none of our guys will win. Instead, we could just... Just three on one. Should work just fine. I always felt the duel mechanic in this was stupid, especially on the higher battle difficulties. How are we going? Fresh, fresh, fresh. Okay, cool. Alright, she's surrounded by a few guards. Gotta watch out for the spears, because we're on horseback. I think what this person may have failed to do is just not have been as um, calm about this, and maybe tried to rush in a bit too quick, where maybe a slower approach may have been better. Something what I'm doing now. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, I might end up losing. We'll see. You can always dismount off the horse. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is what we want. Alright, go for Jenny. She's all separated now. Alright, should we use some abilities? That's useless. Oh, that'd be good if we can just stay still. Okay, so far so good, but yeah, I remember that they <laughs> they dance around a hell of a lot. Draw her back over this way. Yeah, she wasn't super keen on that, but I think we got the better of her. I don't even think she landed a hit. I definitely want to do this ability, but we have to be standing still or else we'll just miss. And they love to just <laughs> run around. Okay, here we go, here we go. Nope. Nope, not yet. Might be better to just use that when we get to the infantry. So far, our fight against Jenny is going okay. Alright, they're shooting us, but that's a waste. Cycle charging on the Lords, if I recall correctly, is... And I'm going to be saying, if I recall... Do a drinking game. Every time I say, if I recall correctly, take a shot. You'll be dead by the end of this. Um... But yeah, if I recall correctly, you don't want to be standing still necessarily, but you want to be cycle charging them, especially if they're not that willing to get into a fight. Okay, we don't want to be fighting her when there's other units nearby, because they actually can do a fair bit of damage to us. Alright, not all of our forces here are hidden. I want them hidden so that they don't leave any units over here. 
All right. I know that guy there is not a good duelist, so we should be able to fight him. This guy is probably medium. But yeah, if we take out their heroes, then the units under their command are going to fight like shit. And that's exactly what we want. Yeah, we're, we're getting him. I don't think he's doing much damage to us. Okay, okay, okay. Back, back, back. That guy will be easy. Okay, Jenny's... How are we going? Yeah, we're good, we're good. Jenny's looking pretty vulnerable right there. Good. She's not landing hits on us, and we're landing pretty good hits on her. That's exactly what we want to see, because we still need to make good use of these guys. Oh, man, the collision in this game is bloody awful. Why not duel? I'm pretty sure if we tried to duel her... Yeah, n none of them want to duel. Whoops. That's the, I've always found the biggest problem with this duel mechanic. They'll only ever duel you if it's a fair fight or in their favor. <laughs> Which means there's no point ever doing it. You're not looking for a fair fight. What's the point in that? Alright, cool. Yeah, she did a little bit of damage to us, but I think we got the better of her because she's a good fighter and she didn't manage to kill any of our guys. Although this guy here is a strong fighter and took out half of his health. Okay. Alright, how tired are we? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So what's going on with you? What does that lightning bolt mean? Fallen Oath Sworn. Oh, he's actually healing. Interesting. Cool. Alright, this guy is easy. Take him out. He's probably not going to put up much of a fight at all. He really should not have come down this way. Because, yeah, these blue characters, the strategists, they're here to provide buffs to your army, especially with extra ammunition. But they can't fight for shit. Especially not low-level ones. Even if they land a hit on you, they're just not going to do much damage. I don't want to fight them. Does it show how much damage that they've dished out? No, it just shows casualties. So this would be a good unit for our... Okay, that's good, that's good. We should be faster than him. Cool, make sure we actually wound him. We don't want him to leave the battlefield. Drop him dead. Good stuff. Okay, one more to go. Wait. I thought that was the one I was fighting. <laughs> so that was actually the reasonable fighter. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, man, I feel so rusty at this. Oh, well. If I win, then what does it matter? If I win. We'll see. Alright, that looks like a higher tier unit. Try to avoid that. Or it could be good for our horse archers to sort that out. But yeah, they've got a clear way in at the moment. Just got to watch out for the regular archers. But I believe these guys here are good at sorting that out. All right, where did that other guy go? And we tired again? Okay, we can use a little bit of a rest. Because maybe this is something that he didn't do. Because I don't have the replay. I don't know exactly what he did. Just give, give a vague explanation. Maybe he didn't rest his units appropriately. Just don't know. We've also got some melee cavalry. I'm going to put that into control... Three. 
Yeah, they really don't want this guy being vulnerable. Okay, we should be fresh. Alright. Taking out regular archers, we should be able to do that basically for free. And if they were attached to... Okay, there we go. We've drawn him out. Let's go. Oops. Yeah, if we've killed the character that they're attached to, then they're going to rout really quickly. It's exactly what we want to see. Now, I definitely want to bring in my horse archers to thin out all their melee troops. But we've got to watch out for their archers. They're making seemingly no attempt at all to recap these points. Don't stay in prolonged fighting. We'll die really quickly. You want to constantly be charging. Remember your ABCs. Oh. Should we go just go and cap this and see what happens? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if we just win that way? What happens if we capture this? Provides a morale bonus to Defender. Alright, so it doesn't actually matter. It just gives them morale. Well, I'll just cap it to split up their forces. And this will help to get rid of their Enemy archers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Smash them. Because, yeah, hang on. Let me just have a look at this email again. He said the archers ripped him to shreds, right? Their archers and towers ripped me to shreds. Right, so let's just take that element out of the battle. These ones are shattered, so we don't need to kill them any further. Okay, okay. Bounce battle's looking better. I think this is a good battle for me to, like... Get back into Three Kingdoms. Like, I'm relearning how the game works. Which characters are good fighters and which ones aren't. Because I haven't played it for like three years. Back in like 2019. Late 2019. Wait, that's four years ago now. Holy crap. Yeah, taking out these archers here. The enemy Super easy for our guys, because I think we've killed the commander that under the... They haven't even bothered to recapture this. And they're just not doing any damage, because they refuse to engage you with the archers. But you're on horseback, they can't do anything about it. Okay, that one's dead. But yeah, we don't want to fight these guys. Well, our guys will probably win... One or two of the fights, they'll they'll take serious damage. We you take out the archers and you walk out of it for free. All right, that guy is fairly vulnerable over there. That's looking good. All of these are hidden, so hopefully they don't uh, don't put any guys there. Okay, go after him first. Yeah, I always liked Three Kingdoms. It's just that. It really came out during the height of Total War Warhammer 2, and I just preferred Total War Warhammer 2. But Warhammer 2 is over now, and I've I've played my fair share of it for sure. So I'm definitely keen to get back into Three Kingdoms. Because let's face it, now is not the height of Warhammer 3. Hopefully that's still to come, but... You know, gotta suck up that copium there with that. Alright, so all of their commanders are now gone. Now let's try to take out their archers before we bring in the main assault. Because even though these guys here might be able to win the entire battle just on their own, um, they would be severely damaged if we attempted that. So just take out the units that are going to be the biggest problem for our guys. Oh, I still got a horse archer here. That should... Uh, there's only 10 men in that. Yeah, yeah, it'll be okay. As long as we take out the... They've recaptured that tower. As long as we recapture the... The towers before they come in and we get rid of their archers they shouldn't be able to do anything to us you know, don't yeah if you're not careful you're gonna cross right over the tower line of sight over here looks like I'll be able to cap these points pretty soon all right how many archers are we dealing with here one two three four five six seven okay that shouldn't take too long to get rid of and then we bring in the main assault Go, go, go. 
Yeah, and I guess this is what made Lu Bu so bloody powerful, is that he's obviously the best duelist in the game. And so you could just use him to win every battle by himself. Which is both a strength and a weakness to this game. And they really just sort of doubled down on that with Troy. But after everyone had already played it with Three Kingdoms and got sick of it, seeing that again just... I used to say with uh, the dueling with um, Three Kingdoms, it was cool for this game, but I hope they don't bring it back. And luckily, they kind of have it. They, they kind of did with Troy, but then they, they don't, I don't seem to think they're bringing it back. They definitely didn't bring it back for um, Warhammer 3. Oh, they've got like little spiky traps here. Oh, I didn't realize they put this in the game. Um, okay. Shit, if I had run in through the front here, I might have gotten completely dismounted. Huh. Yeah, because they didn't put it there. Jesus. I didn't even realize that was there. There must have been a later... Oh, jeez, I just don't remember. Alright, that's a damage unit. Probably could fight it. And it's also tired. They're running around constantly. Our guys are very tired. Okay, we should probably let them have a bit of a rest. Let's go recap this point over here and just sit there for a minute. Because we've got unlimited time on. Obviously, if it was 20 minute battles, we would have lost. Alright, you come back over here. Alright, and I'll put this all in control group 4. All of our melee infantry. Yeah, if single entities capture points really bloody quick. Alright, I said I need these guys here to have a bit of a rest. Alright, there should be six archers still remaining. If I want to bring in the horse archers, we, we really should take out their regular archers first. Bounce power's not improved that much. Yeah, our guys recover fatigue really quickly. They get tired quickly and they, re they recover quick. God, if I had brought the cavalry in through here, that reminds me. These ones here should not go in through that way. So let's bring them around another way. Now, you could put this on normal battle difficulty and say, but look, at least the archers will shoot at these guys. But the thing is, if we did that, then we wouldn't need to kill the archers because they would just waste all of their ammunition on units that they really can't hit very well. And it would have also made dueling Jenny a lot easier. Because I'm pretty sure she gets some big old fat chitties. Cheaties. <laughs> okay, good. That's a full strength archer unit there. Basically counted for nothing. He's cheesing. <laughs> Always be cheesing. Remember your ABCs. If you can cheese, you should cheese. No, you don't have to. But, you know, this guy probably didn't cheese it and he lost the battle. And we're going to hopefully walk out of this one pretty damn in good shape. Alright, we've still got that this ability here. I should really utilize that. I've just been trying to avoid their melee troops. Because, yeah, if we're in a fight with the bandit hunters, they're just refusing to engage with us. Oh, right. If we want to rout them, this would be good. Quick, use uh, Burning Head. Cool. Broke him. I think they actually shattered. Yeah, yeah. So that worked out well. Alright, one, two, three, four, five left. So there was one I didn't account for before because I took out three units. That means there was eight, not seven. Yeah, minus 18. Oh, hang on. What kind of morale boost is that providing? It doesn't say here. I don't imagine it's huge, but let's go and cap that. Because if I pop this down, it just causes massive morale debuffs. Then that could be incredibly powerful. This could be a risk. I'm going to charge him into these guys. I want to see him do how much damage he does to them. Strike. 
Not bad, not bad. Yeah, we probably could win just with these three guys if we if we cheese it hard enough. I'm not gonna do that, just take out the archers. Can we cause a bit of a mess route? Got them wavering, and they're kind of breaking. That's good. Good, good. And that's a melee infantry unit in there breaking. Yeah, holy shit, we could just win the whole battle with these fucking guys. We don't even need the friggin' army. Yeah. Alright, well, is this a... Hang on. Make sure you get rid of those saved militias since they're already broken. Yeah, who needs a fucking army when you just got three dudes? <laughs> but that is just the crux of Three Kingdoms, isn't it? Alright, there's all the archers just remaining over here. There's already a broken unit in there, so I imagine these guys should be pretty quick to break. Cancel that ability there. They've recaptured that, but man, look, look at their morale. They're just, this is nothing. And this is on very hard battle difficulty, I checked. Why can't I use this? Okay, just do a little bit of damage there. Careful. Alright, three archers remain. This is not going to do anything, but whatever. You are weak. Ready. Do Feels like minus 18 morale is pretty bloody strong. Yeah, it's really bloody strong. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, you take out the enemy characters with this guy here, because he's a good duelist. And then Gongs and Zan just fucking just saying, hey, enemy units, fuck off. And they just like, okay. We just got one archer unit remaining. Alright, let's bring in the horse archers now. And maybe, maybe don't fire at will at already shattered units. How tired are you guys? They're very tired. Okay, just one archer unit remains. Hang on, go sit over here and recover. Yeah, I remember with uh, Three Kingdoms I used to... Um, like, get a, a band of three strong warriors and cap major cities this way. As long as it wasn't, like, defended by Lubu. If, you know, wherever Lubu was, I would usually just try to auto resolve against him. Or actually, I would use my army to try to beat Lubu, because he's just, just too bloody strong, that fucker. You know, just don't play into your enemy's strengths, play into their weaknesses. Alright, let's bring these over here and shoot into this. Okay, bring these around over here. Alright, start to bring our... Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Because we've still got those towers there. They're going to rip us to shreds. Alright, you may fire at will now. I'm going to go and cap this point here. Start bringing our guys to here. Start bringing them in. But yeah, we've obviously got this. So there's still an archer unit. This is what I kind of wanted to prevent. Also, what unit scale is this on? I feel like it's like normal or large. Not like super large. Actually, go back, go back. Take out that archer unit. Did I lose any horses? Once we've taken out that archer unit, there's nothing they can do against us here. Alright, you guys come in through this way. Even if we did cap these points, still need to go in that way. Okay, I took out the archer unit. Oh, do we have, like, whistle shot or something? No. Alright, so they have no means with which to get the light bow cavalry there, so we're able to shoot them with impunity. I'll need to capture both of these points here if we don't want to get... Ah, oh, crap. If we don't want to get shot.
Are they getting kills in? Yeah, a couple of kills here and there. Nothing. Oh, look at this. 300, 470 kills. God damn it. Why do you even need an army? Well, I guess you need an army if these guys here are tired, because they don't just instantly recover their health. Yeah, no sense in not using up the ammo. Okay, cap up these two points. Capped. Alright, bring them in. Bring them in. Still got a lot of ammo. Yeah, the difficulty modifier gives a 5 morale bonus. I just saw that there. Does it show difficulty modifier on melee attack? No, it does in the in Warhammer 3 now. But uh, it's always showed the morale bonus. Capping this point here. Uh, look, this one's really tight. Let's just charge into that. I don't think they're going to do much. It's not like they're spearmen. Yeah, Gongsun's ain't getting in there. Need to pop down your anti-morale stuff. And, yep, they're gone. Now get our guys here to control this point. Oh, I took a casualty with that one. Damn it. Oh, well. Uh, that actually could have been friendly fire because of the way that they'll move again. Alright, I've done enough of this guy. I'm going to move him back. Damn it, I almost did this with no casualties. And I may have actually been able to. But I don't know. It's time to, time to finish this up. Alright, if we do a solid charge downhill into these axe band that are tired, or well, they're winded, we should be fine. Our guys are nice and fresh. Plus the army losses should be right around the corner here. Watch out for the spears. Just go around them. Good, they're smashed. Look, they're about to break anyway. Let's just go for it. Solid charge down the hill. Disrupt their spears, and that's a GG, I think. I think that's the army losses. Yep. Army losses minus 90. There we go. Okay, in hindsight, not necessarily a difficult battle. You've just got to know how to go about these sort of things, which is rich coming from somebody who hasn't played the game in four years. Close victory. Get fucked. Whatever. <laughs> it took one casualty, I think. Good to see I've still got some muscle memory for the game. As is victory. In these chaotic times. Oh, okay. I lost 12 troops. Fair enough. I lost 12. To the 2,500 we defeated. Was this standing outside the settlement or something? Maybe I should have run them down. Uh, okay, what should we do here? Probably, if you're looking for rapid expansion, based on what he was saying with this, I imagine that Occupy is probably the best call here. Cool. I don't know where that other army was. Maybe it was... I don't know. So yeah, looking at your campaign, your money is fine. You've got a good solid amount of territory that is nice and safe. I I've played a Gongsun Zan campaign. This is actually one of my favorites. So it, it looks pretty damn healthy. I don't see anything here that gives me any immediate concern. You see we've got a white border along here. That's good. That means you're not under any serious attacks. If you continue to expand though, it's going to um, it's gonna piss everyone off. But taking out Jenny is 
probably a safe bet. Oh, they put in passes into into like like forts. Interesting. I don't remember that being there. That's interesting. I really need to play another campaign of Three Kingdoms. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this one here. Let me know in the comments below what you think, whether you enjoy this particular playstyle, whether you want more Total War Three Kingdoms or not. Uh, but yeah, do appreciate the feedback. Everything's been going great with the channel. You guys providing different historical Total War games, even considering covering Empire and Napoleon. Still not really too keen on covering mods at this stage, but I'm getting more open to it as time goes on. Anyway, appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.